Hello, it's Phil Thatch and I am here in my crappy studio and I have my Nikon ZFC and I just released a video that came out today, the day that I'm recording this video, and it was basically a vlogging test where I walked around and tested the Nikon ZFC for vlogging. I thought it did really well and I'll put a link up in the top of the corner of this video so you can see that video if you'd like to. And uh, David Sailors, who has a great uh, Georgia Photographer YouTube channel, he asked a question in the comment section. Hey Phil, this is David, the Georgia Photographer, and I gotta know, do you like the Canon M50 for vlogging better than the Nikon ZFC? So the reason I think he asked that question is because when I got the Z50, which is kind of the same internals as a ZFC, it doesn't have a flip screen and a couple of other little things are missing, but as far as, uh, you know, it's got the same processor, it's got the same sensor. Uh, I was talking to him about how much better I liked the picture quality coming out of the ZFC than I did my main vlogging camera at the time and for the majority of the life of this channel, which is the Canon M50. Fantastic little vlogging camera. I use this all the time. And I told him at the time that I got my ZFC that I liked it better than this and then somehow I continue to use this instead of this camera which I told David that I like better so I think that's why he asked the question hey Phil do you like the ZFC better than your Canon M50 for vlogging and I ended up replying to that to that question in the comments on that video and I sat there and typed and considered and thought and type some more for about a half hour. And I got to thinking, you know what, I've put a lot of thought into this, I'm gonna make a video about it. So here is that video. All of the cameras that I'll talk about in today's video have one thing in common, and that is their autofocus system is good enough to immediately capture your face or your eye, either one is fine, and stay on it, not go wandering off into la la land so once you find a camera that can do that, then you have to find a camera that also fits well in your bag, is easy to operate, uh, the sound has to be good, it's, it's nice if it has decent stabilization. So there's a number of things to consider. And the first camera that I found that would really do that was this M50. This little camera, such it's really small, inexpensive. Mine took a huge tumble and cracked the screen. I put a screen protector on top of the screen over the cracks, and it's been busted like that for a couple of years at least, maybe even longer. And I still use this camera all the time. And the reason why is, look how small it is. It's super tiny. Let me compare it to the ZFC. It's little. The ZFC and the Z50 and this camera all have one thing in common. A lot of people don't like it when a lens collapses down smaller to, to its usable size for storage, but I love that. See, there's its usable range, but when it's in your bag, it collapses down like that. And that's the same way this uh, 16 to 50 lens is. That's storage size. And from here to here is operational size. I don't mind it being a little bit bigger when you're actually using it, but when you're storing it in the bag, I need it to be little. This is my main camera bag. It's a Lowepro Pro Runner 200, really old. I've had this camera bag forever, but it's small. But the thing about it is I like to be able to put my vlogging camera right here. So look. I can toss the M50 in there right there, and it's cool. I can toss the Z50 in there right there, and it's cool. I can put the ZFC in there in that spot, and it's cool, works just fine. Now, here's the thing. The Z50 has this flip down screen, and it just doesn't work good for me. I don't like I just don't like it. I like to be able to put this small tripod on the bottom of my camera 
and if you try to flip the screen down then it's it's a real mess so i needed something else and i'll show you what it is okay so this is a little mirror that sits in the hot shoe on top of a camera it's made by a company called ulanzi and it's called the uu rig and what you do is you take you take this mirror and you slide it into your hot shoe and it works really good as a matter of fact i like right now i'm making this video with my z6 and the reason I had to stop just then is because I had to take this off of my Z6. And then you put the screen, you point the screen straight up like that. And you can flip on the camera. And you can see yourself in the mirror. So, you, you, you know, the reason why you need to be able to see yourself, you need to be able to see that you are in the frame. So with the screen pointing straight up and then that mirror, it works just fine. So that's great. This, this would have solved my problem for vlogging with the Z50. And I think the Z50 has better picture quality than this M50. But for some reason, I kept using the M50 instead of the Z50, even though the Z50 had better picture quality. And this is why. We collapse the lens down on the, on the Z50. And let's see how it stores in here. Huh. Well, the mirror's in the way. So now I gotta take the mirror off and find a place to put the mirror. Now it, it stores fine in this little compartment up here, but that could be some photography gear. See all the rest, this is a photography channel. So I like to, you know, and if, as a photography channel and any YouTube channel, you've gotta get your video camera working good. But if, if you're a photography channel, you gotta get your video camera working good and your camera camera. So if I'm out doing landscape photography or whatever, I've only got the rest of this bag for my stuff. Now, if I'm doing wildlife photography, I use I carry a bigger bag than this. But still, it's the same thing. The, the, those big lenses take up more room in a bag, but you still only have a certain amount of space to put your vlogging camera. And like sometimes I might go out and I'll carry a camera here and a lens here and a lens here, and I can also put another lens right there. But if I'm having to carry this mirror, that space is wasted. So for that reason, that's why the Z50 ended up staying at home because I needed a spot for this mirror. And with the M50, because the M50 has a nice fully articulating screen, it doesn't need that extra spot. So that leaves me this much more room in my bag for stuff, filters, lenses, something can go there and if I'm carrying the Z50, it can't. So now Nikon has released this ZFC, which is a retro camera, and a lot of people are in love with it because of the way it looks, and, and uh, I, I like the way it looks too, but the reason why I really bought it is because it, I, it should perform like a Z50, but it also has, like the M50, it also has a nice fully articulating screen, so it, takes up less space in my bag. So that's, that's why I'm really excited about this camera. It has the collapsible lens. It's got a fully articulating screen. It's a little tiny bit bigger than the M50, but not much. So I think that this may turn out to be my number one vlogging camera. Now David a lot of times uses his Z50, but I don't think he's ever even installed this 16 to 50 lens on his camera. I don't think he's ever even put it on there. He uses his Z50 with his 500 phase Fresnel for wildlife, which is totally an awesome lens. And for vlogging, he uses the FTZ adapter and he bought the, uh, the DX10 to 20, which is completely awesome. And because it's ultra wide, you know, this is 16, which times one and a half, the, the DX crop makes it 24. And to me, 24 is, is a pretty good sweet spot for a vlogging lens size. But at 24, it's easy to not have yourself in the frame. Well, David's using a 10 to 20, so he can shoot at 10 millimeters. And at 10 millimeters, that's a 15 millimeters full frame equivalent. You just have to point the camera in your general direction and you'll be in the frame. You don't have to worry about look checking in a mirror or checking on a flip screen to see if you're in the frame. With that super ultra wide, you're gonna be in the frame. 
Now, that lens is inexpensive, and I still may buy one. I, I, I'm not going to never say never. I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy one. Matter of fact, I was looking as recently as yesterday. Uh, Adorama has one for like 209 or 219, something like that. It's a really inexpensive lens. It's got vibration reduction. The, the autofocus motors are silent in it. It's really, really cool. But the reason I hesitated and have been continuing to hesitate to buy that lens, even though I think it will be a great vlogging lens, I'll tell you why. It goes right back to space in my camera bag. Let me show you. All right, this is not the 10 to 24 um, ultra wide lens. This is the 35 millimeter f1.8, but it's similar in size. So you have to put the FTZ adapter on and then the 10 to 24 DX lens. So now the camera has grown to being this big. And what's our goal? We want to fit the camera in this area of the camera bag and it don't work. I guess, I mean, I might could put it like this, then it sticks up too high. With that big lens on there, the camera doesn't fit where I need it to fit in my camera bag because I'm gonna be carrying a larger camera and the larger camera is gonna have the luxury of this spot in the bag. The vlogging camera goes here. Sometimes I even vlog with this little thing. This is the DJI Osmo Action, and it's nice and wide, but it does have a forward-facing screen. It has great stabilization. The audio quality is really good with this uh, USB-C to microphone input adapter. This thing's great, but where it's weak is picture quality. As a matter of fact, even recording with 4K on this, it's not as good a picture quality as this Canon. Now the Canon, this will do 4K, but you lose the fantastic dual pixel autofocus. So I always shoot, when I'm using this camera, I'm always shooting 1080p, and then I'll upscale the video to 4K. The main reason I changed my channel to 4K is so I could present my photographs in a higher resolution than 1080p, but having 1080p video leading up to those pictures doesn't really bother me. But the cool thing about this camera is it shoots 4K, but the quality's not that good. This camera, the Z50, shoots 4K and the quality is very good. <clears throat> and the ZFC shoots 4K and the quality is very good. So, so right now, let's see. 4K, yes, doesn't fit in the bag. 4K, yes, but the autofocus is terrible. 4K, yes, but the quality is not very good. Huh. The ZFC, 4K, great quality, fits in the bag where I need it to. It's starting to look like the ZFC might be my new vlogging camera. So next we're going to go outside and I'm going to do just a short loop walking around the yard with the M50 and the Z50 and the ZFC and the Osmo Action, which these are probably the four cameras that are like 100% bought this for vlogging, no photography for this. 50-50 uh, for this one, which I've used it way more for photography than vlogging and probably 50-50 for this, but I may end up using this way more for vlogging than photography. And the main reason why this is probably a vlogging camera because my main photography camera right now is this crazy Canon uh, EOS R6, which is just a ridiculously awesome photography camera. And so is the camera that I'm currently making this video with. That's my Nikon Z6. And I, but I like both the Z6 that's making this video and this R6. I like them both for video, but they are a bigger camera than I would want to use for vlogging. However, this 24 to 105 lens on the R6 with a fully articulated flip screen. It has stabilization in the lens and in body image stabilization and it's rock solid. The picture looks great. It's just, I didn't, this is not, it's a great vlogging camera. It's just a little bigger than I prefer. Uh, and even better than that, take off this uh, F4 to 7.1 lens and put this 24 to 70 f 2.8 on and it looks absolutely incredible and you can see by the picture that you're seeing now this is the Nikon Z6 and I have my 14 to 24 f 
on it. So it's dynamite too, but none of those. Good studio cameras, not so much vlogging cameras, at least not for me. I know, I know some people like to vlog with big full frame cameras, but I prefer a little bit smaller camera for vlogging. But I digress. Let's go outside and try out all of these cameras that I actually vlog with. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with all four of these cameras. This is the Canon M50. Uh, this is 1080p that'll be upscaled to 4K in this video. Everything, all the rest of the cameras will be 4K, but this is the M50 and I'm just handheld with it. And I've always thought that the M50 might have a little bit better stabilization. Neither the, the ZFC or the Z50 or the M50, none of them have in-body image stabilization. But I've always thought that the image stabilization in this lens is a little bit better than the image stabilization in the Nikon 16 to 50. So this will be a chance to compare it. I'm gonna walk this same little loop with all the cameras and kind of compare how it looks. Now let's head back and change cameras. Okay, this is the Nikon Z50 and I'm gonna have the exact same settings, aperture priority and that sort of stuff when I make this video as when I make the ZFC video here in a moment. And they're both using not the exact same lens, but the same model lens, the 16 to 50 kit lens. So we'll see, and I'm losing light, so I really need to hurry kind of walking into a very dark area beside my house and then back into the backyard. Now, I've got the audio settings the same, the record settings the same on both this, the Z50, and the next camera I'm gonna show you is the ZFC, which uh, is possibly my new vlogging camera. All right, this is the Nikon ZFC, and I can see that it has a box on my eye where the Z50 had a box on my face, which I don't think makes that big of a difference in video autofocus, eye detect versus face detect. The M50 only has face detect, and so does the Z50, but the ZFC has eye detect, and I'm glad it has it, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So what we're comparing right now is stabilization, picture quality, that sort of a thing. And I guess you can also look at autofocus as I'm walking this same little loop up to my extremely dark side yard and into the backyard. Now one advantage the ZFC does have is the air conditioner kicked off so you're not having to hear my air conditioner running, although my next door neighbors is on, I can hear. But I do really like this ZFC for vlogging and it's a good photography camera too, but I think maybe the real reason that I bought mine is to vlog with it. And now let's look at one more camera. All right, so this awesome little camera, which I think has great audio and I love the wide lens and I think the color's good. I just don't think it's quite as sharp and as detailed of an image as from any of the other cameras. This is 4K, 4K 30 frames a second. I think this Osmo Action probably has the best stabilization even though it doesn't have any optical or in-body stabilization, this is all digital stabilization. So as far as a walking and talking camera, this one may be the best. I just don't like the picture quality from it that much, but I do think I'll be using it quite a bit. I vlogged our entire Disney trip, uh, our entire July Disney trip with this camera, and I got to where I really enjoyed using it. But I think if I'm out doing photography, I think the majority of the time I will probably stick with the ZFC. Now, one thing about this camera, once you've been going for a while, the picture goes dark. So you have to tap the screen to bring yourself back up to make sure you're in the frame. But uh, this is the DJI Osmo Action. And I'm using the, uh, it's a third party USB-C to microphone port, and I'm using my um, Rode Wireless Go version one for all of these clips, including the clips in the studio. And the clips in the studio are with the Nikon Z6. All right, I'd be really interested to see what you think about the comparison between 
these four cameras, the Nikon ZFC, the Nikon Z50, the Canon M50, and the DJI Osmo Action, my main vlogging cameras. And uh, the M50 has been my main, main vlogging camera for quite some time, but possibly the new main vlogging camera could be this ZFC. So uh, David, to answer your question, I think it's the ZFC, time will tell. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content, subscribe if you wanna see some more. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.